That information is available on the health and wellness tab, as well as additional information like various information on health topics, chronic conditions, and the like. So the estimate your cost tool, jump back over to this. As I mentioned, about 400 procedures. It does default to you here at the top and your location. This family member happens to be in Ohio. Uh, I can start typing here and it's going to offer me some options. Let's say I do brain and I want to do MRI of the brain. I choose MRI of the brain. And it's going to give me a summary of the procedures that are included here. When it's a complex procedure, there may be multiple things. But here, this is only the MRI and the reading of that. So I can search cost estimates. And you see a little pop up basically that says that this is an estimate, but it is a pretty good estimate. It is based on the actual claims that we've paid out to that particular provider and uh, the uh, benefits that you have in your plan. So, as we get results here, you're going to see a list of providers sorted by cost. You have the ability for certain procedures to filter that on the left by some of our recognition programs, the Blue Distinction, Blue Distinction Plus. There are Blue Distinction programs for MRIs, but there are for things like hip replacement and knee replacement. So you can see here it is sorting that list of providers by cost. You get the low cost at the top here, and it goes and it gets more expensive. I can sort it in a different way if I just wanted to use this. This doesn't illustrate for you some of the differences in costs in things like MRIs. This, this particular dummy member has a $3,000 deductible, so they're having to pay out of pocket for the first $3,000. So $366 for one of these standalone, and for some of these hospital facilities, it's more in the $1,500 all the way up to $3,000 range. If I roll over the little uh, uh, I icon here, I'm going to be able to see the copay amount, coinsurance, deductible, how that UPay amount was calculated. And again, it is looking real time at your benefits and balancing that against the historical claim data, cost information for what we've paid out to these providers for that particular service. I'll do one more real quick. And, yes, absolutely. Uh, I've been following along in Boston. Uh, on my own uh, portal, I have been opened it up and I was following just everything that you were doing. I was clicking on the same things in my own thing. So when you said uh, uh, brain scan, MRI, did the same thing. And it opened up the options uh, or hospitals that were 23 miles away. Does that mean that those are the only ones that are in my policy? There wouldn't be any place closer than that that I could go to get a brain scan or MRI, my doctor sent me to do that. So, um, Chad, the, the group has a PPO type benefit? Correct. 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 Yeah. So there should be, I mean, I would think, uh, unless you live in the wilds of Massachusetts somewhere, that within 20 miles you should have numerous facilities that would offer that. There are some, there are a couple well, of things well, that Now, Brian. All right. Well, I just wanted to bring up that. Yeah. What's going on? Brian, my my understanding. Uh, let me ask Chad if Chad would uh, uh, note that, and we will take a look at that um, with an actual, you know, with, with one of your accounts, so we can see what it's showing. Um, it's, I would think, you know, especially around Boston, there should be a, a ton of places that do MRIs. Um, you can try and search. Yeah, I mean it. it if you chose, chose MRI brain strictly, sometimes the different places name the procedures a little bit differently, and you might find that from one area of the country to the next, you might find something like they may do MRI of the brain with contrast, but they don't bill under MRI of the brain. But we'll take a look at that and uh, and uh, see what maybe is going yeah. on there and see if it's an issue. With yeah, I mean, um, 
Obviously, I'm not going to go get a brain scan. It's just not urgent. It's just that uh, when an emergency right. comes up and I'm looking for these services, and it, it leads me to places out of state. Just wanted to know what resources I could go to to be able to find something close to that. Yeah, we, we also yeah, have. Yeah, I would think it should show you um, providers that are closer to you. So let's take a look at that. If you could pass along your exact search criteria and zip code. Then um, we'll um, we'll take a look at yeah that that'd be helpful. I'll, I'll work with Lisa to collect your personal information. We'll look into it further. Also, oh, Brian. Great. Also, Brian. I mean, I don't believe that every provider is housed in our estimate your cost tool. I think it's it's meant to be a. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, that answers the question right there. Yeah, like I I had asked that's that exactly question. What I wanted to know. Yeah, like I know, I know yeah. many providers are on there, but I don't think it's an encyclopedia, if you will. Um, we do also have our find a doctor tool that that Brian showed, um, where you can search by specialty and specialization of the type of services that you're looking for. So that might be a little more of a comprehensive if you're just looking for a PAR provider for a particular yeah. service. I mean, but, I just wanted to know yeah. that if that if that tool was the one that told you. Yeah, these are the only doctors you can use. Right. No, the find a doc, the yeah. find a doc right. in yeah. general. You can go to the find a doctor tool, and right. you can search for any doctors. You can search for an MRI yeah. facility, let's say, and as long as it's in your network, and you get the favorable uh, cost. Uh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. brain yeah. MRI is okay. a real specialty. So. Yeah, and this, this cost tool then would be those. Now, that said, um, you know, as long as we've had claims at the facility, for this type of procedure, then we should be able to show that. Right. As Chad said, that doesn't mean that it's every single facility that's in your network, but there should be some, and it's unusual that you wouldn't find any within 20 miles of you. So I think we'll want to take oh, a look okay. at that. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. Thank you for bringing it to us. Simply looking to see who's in your network. So another option here is near placement again. It's going to list uh, the various procedures that are bundled up in this. And this particular uh, member has a three thousand dollars deductible to semi member, so you're going to see that the, the total cost here is going to be for the UK is going to be uh, three thousand dollars for all of them because even though there's a range of thirty to thirty five thousand dollars on the on the cost, the uh, the member has an out of pocket maximum of three thousand, so they never pay more than that. But you can see then uh, the, the facilities that offer this type of procedure. Uh, that we have claim information for and that are within the range of, our, of the search. You can see that coming back and sorted by cost, but I can sort, sort in a different way. And again, just like in the Find a Doctor tool, which will bring back all the providers, this one also will bring back uh, those that have cost information and any quality information under the quality snapshot. Uh, I have the same ability to compare and to look at the details of the provider as well. So that said, uh, I think we've been on for a while here. I want to pause and see if there's any other questions or something else we want to take a look at or Chad wants to look at. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Um, now, there's a lot of urgent cares that have been popping up all over the place. Right. Um, do we or are we supposed to first go into the website to look to see exactly which urgent care we should go to or doesn't it matter? Well, the, the find an urgent care is there, and, and mainly because a big part of the, the picture of benefits here is, you know, right place for the right service, right? So there are times when you should go to your primary care doctor. There are times when you should truly go to the emergency room if it is a life-threatening emergency. The reason we added this on here is urgent care versus ER. You're going to have less wait time. It's going to be more cost effective for you. So this is a tool for you to find it, an urgent care that is absolutely participating, That's um, what I meant. and 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 to supplement that, find a doctor as well. You could search through that as well. But this is particular to urgent care, and your mobile app, Brian, I believe, has the urgent care search on there as well. That's right. Exactly. So That's right. It's yep. more about us giving you the tools to be able to on the fly. Make sure you're going to the right place so that you don't have to wait longer than you should or pay more than you should for the actual diagnosis that you're trying to take care of. So. And 
and also, um, yeah. where does the HSA come in? You haven't covered any of that information. The HRA? So the HRA, so Empire actually doesn't know about our HRA arrangement at all. Okay. So that's through a separate website, Vantage Point. So when you log into Empire, you're going to see the full deductible, but it doesn't take into account what we fund. So once you meet your 750 deductible or the family equivalent, that means 1300, then after that, so long as you send the EOBs and all the information to Vantage Point, we pay for it, or our land pays for it. Right, so whenever you look at Empire's deductibles, we're always gonna show the full amount, because that's how we're policing it and adjudicating it on our side but we're not gonna factor that in because it's an outside administrator, outside of Empire on the HRA side. So is there an app for um, Vantage Point? Yes, and I'm actually going to send out a follow-up email to everyone, and I'll send one to your husband if you want to give you an email on the future and that also, and there'll be an attachment that goes over step-by-step -step instructions on how to send everything to Vantage and make sure that it pretty much, that we pay our portion. So that won't be covered in this presentation, but it will come. Okay. Back to you, Brian. Okay. Um, so this is uh, the new website. I'm sorry, this is the existing website that you have access to. And again, as I mentioned, we are doing a full redesign, visual and behind the scenes, to uh, make it easier to use and easier for our members to understand. Uh, that will be available to you later this year, uh, and we're pretty excited about that, so Chad will know when that's happening, he'll communicate that to you guys, uh, but in the interim, you have access to our existing uh, tool here with, with uh, a lot of uh, useful features, including the Find a Doctor to uh, find anybody in your network to this Estimate Your Cost tool that allows you to estimate about 400 uh, procedure costs. Uh, for, for providers for which we have claim information. Anything it, else I can show you today? Or Brian, didn't we, we to did we do the, did we do the customer support tab? Mm -hmm. We did, right? Oh, we did. We talked about uh, the message center where we can send secure messages. We talked about the request ID card capability. That's right. That's right. Thank you. ID card. <laughs> Excellent. I think that was it, unless we have any other questions for Brian today. Thanks so much, Brian. Huge help. Okay. Sure. Thanks very much. I hope you all have a great day. Appreciate the opportunity. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can grab that recording if it worked, but otherwise we had the videotape rolling here. So thank you. Sounds good. Thanks right. so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, so now that you're all portal experts, <laughs> say, anyone have any other questions today? And we'll, we'll touch on some of those follow-up items, and I'll get the info on the mail order over to Lisa as well. Good questions, all right. All right. I only have a complaint to that card. Uh-oh. He used the card you know, twice, once at the dentist's office, once at another office. And they've gotten the numbers wrong, and they've gotten the numbers wrong simply because the numbers are too tiny. Oh, they're small. Okay. They're very, very tiny, and the doctor's offices are not reading them right. That's. Pull it up on your app. That's, that's the, the best, best solution. Yeah, and, and yes, magnify best, it. You know, for everybody, the best advice is to, you know, put it on your phone. I agree. And sh don't show them, because I always carry my card, so does my husband, but like most of us do. Yeah. But I think the best solution is not to give them the card. Give them the app that you can always enlarge. I agree with and you. And they copy that on That's the best. Because That's best. to your point, um, we want them to utilize. We're, we're kind of, as a company, getting away more from the, you know, the copay numbers that are on the ID card. We want providers to actually look you up in their system and truly charge you based on how you should be charged with the benefit. Because what if there's a typo? What if you're given a card from two years ago? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we're really encouraging our providers to, to your point, use the ID number, look the person up in their system, whether it be at the pharmacy or at the provider, so that we know we're truly charging the right dollar amount. So to your point, very important we have ID numbers we can read, so. <laughs> exactly. Otherwise you get charged 
charged full amount, somebody might 